passivité 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 you may be wondering what that is about passive men who are passive you go to primary school to elementary school and what happens you have this female teacher who is innocently doing her work very well but this female teacher is teaching this male you know student this boy and he is being told to behave they always say behave 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 but behave in this context means act like a girl because as a female teacher the best way i know how a child behaves is when he sits down doesn't talk in class doesn't climb anything doesn't touch anything or move anything doesn't touch the neighbor doesn't talk with anybody but sits down like a humble small little princess that is behaving it is only at break time and at lunch time when this boy now feels like a boy like a young man because at break time he is playing the ball he is kicking this and kicking that he is running around he is calling this boy to join the team and calling the other one to join the team he feels in charge and the manly instinct is at its best only at break time after break he goes back to the class to be passive by the time he is a man who is in his own home having two three children with a beautiful wife he is super passive he cannot be active anymore he cannot make any choices he cannot take decisions he cannot come out like the man he is supposed to be even when it comes to the world of work and jobs he is laid back and so today we have a big problem of men who do not work hard they are passive and laid back that should not be you or your husband or your brother or your son or your elder you are very welcome to this program <clears throat> the inspired family leader with Samuel Ebakutan your host CEO inspired leaders international a certified executive coach award winning leadership consultant global speaker and author provincial fathers union president what a joy to have you watching today as we talk about this very important topic of real men work hard real men work hard and for us to have this conversation with me in studio is a real man who works hard and he has what to show that he has been working hard over the last couple of years he has served as the executive director of the anti-corruption coalition uganda he has served as the executive director of dem group a consortium on electoral democracy he has served as the church relations uh, relations manager for uganda christian university in east africa he has served as a manager of a huge project the all saints cathedral building project a cathedral that is going to be seating more than 5000 people he was the manager of the project and today he is working hard as the new general chief executive officer for the church commissioners holding company limited the investment arm of the church of uganda the man i call jt a friend <laughs> right here in the studio jt you are very welcome thank you my a real man who works hard yes i am so glad to host you today thank you so so much even for that nice introduction and thank you for inspiring us also yes i have read your book yes expression on wealth okay I'm actually oh. still reading it. is that so and uh, ability to produce wealth exactly <laughs> because you inspire us especially inspired me to begin writing yes i've actually two manuscripts i'm glad that i did in the in the during lockdowns yes. and partly yes. because I saw Uganda writing. So and you writing so you waited is, for this program to let me know about it. Exactly, I didn't know about yes. it. What I'm telling you <laughs> is that as you do this program, know that as you write, yes. know that there are so many who get inspired. At least even if you inspire one man oh, yes. to add on what you have done for me, 
That's beautiful. Amazing. Yeah. How is peace? Peace, as seen with Muhimbi <laughs> say, is very fine. Yes. And she sends greetings and she has actually watching. Okay. I called her we, we, some few minutes ago to ensure that it is the right channel <laughs> on the right TV. Yes. Because the family TV yes. is the real TV. Oh, yes. I yes, hear yes, you. Yes. You sound like a marketing manager for this station. <laughs> Indeed. Because I had, I couldn't wait for it to be on this TV. I so management imagine. and yes. governor, thank you for putting it there. Because part of our family, we were mm. on this TV. Yes. So to purchase, you know, others was tough. Mm. So I was so glad that we are now on this TV. So family TV also became a real TV. It worked hard and yes. joined the DSTV yes, as well. So, exactly. so tell us about yourself a little bit more and especially about your family. Okay. Second born of ten children, five boys, five girls. Wow. Of Lillian and Jackson in Pigigwe, who wedded nineteen sixty six. <laughs> then uh, thankfully and with the great blessing from God, yes. I studied primary school in the village, mm. then he gets college to Tovede, Caltech Academy, then I went to Makerere as a statistician. I'm a professional yes. statistician. Bachelor of Statistics from yes, Makerere yes. University. And applied economics. Mm. So that's my type of profession. But, but you also went for a master's in divinity. Two masters. I have a master's, master's in ethics. I have master's in ethics and public management. Yes. I'm completing my PhD. Yes. In education management and administration. But you also have a diploma. Yes, in, <laughs> in, in the project planning and management. You see? And very many other certificates. <laughs> Interesting. Where you got those from, I don't know. But I'm a type who like building COVID mm. because I like working. Sorry to digress a bit my family. Because when COVID came, I said, What should I now do? Mm -hmm. Sitting at home one week, I said, No, <laughs> let me enroll for PhD. So I began my studies during COVID. And you so are that complete now? Yes, so that I do not do nothing. Yes. Because I am a person who likes working. So my family, mm. I married 25 years ago, actually, this month. 30th of this 30th month, month you're making 25. August, I'm making 25 years with peace. And um, we have four biological children. Mm. And about 29 plus, we are still adding, have yes. passed through our hands, okay. especially in terms of education and giving them a future. Because as a couple, from the beginning up to today, we work hard. <laughs> yes. You are work hard incarnate. Yes, yes. So this is the Inspired Family Leader Program, mm. which is a program really on leadership. Yes. It's a leadership program. Mm -hmm. We are equipping leaders. Yes. Mm -hmm. Particularly, this program focuses on leaders of the family. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, in your view, mm -hmm. generally speaking, what would you say leadership is? How would you define leadership? Yeah, I would define leadership as rallying people mm -hmm. around the vision. Rallying people around the Within vision. Within a specified time. In other mm -hmm. words, actually, when a vision is fulfilled, you can rally them mm -hmm. around another vision. Mm -hmm. And so, in terms of leadership, Actually, biblical leadership mm. means you have a person, especially a family head, rallying the wife mm. and the children around a certain vision towards a certain direction yes. within a specified certain time. Mm. And if you read the Bible very well, Noah is a classic example <laughs> of a leader mm. who rallied the whole family. The Noah of the ark. Yes, the because it hadn't rained. And he built that ark from about 75 years to 100. Mm. Many people say 40 years. No, no, it was more than 75 years. Yes. But the wife believed, the wife believed in him, mm -hmm. the sons, children, and their, their wives, wives <laughs> to enter the ark. Yes. And God crosses yes. and the beginning is raining. For me, that's a classic example of a man who had a vision, who, had a vision, who actually received the vision. Yes. And then passed it on yes. to the wife, in I a, guess first. In a comparing manner yes. enough. And then to the children and their, and know, their daughters in row, and they all entered the ark. I yes. mean, that's a perfect vision. And that's the family I would want yes. to lead. Yes. But I'm not going to heaven alone. My wife is following. All my four children yes. are following. And then people we live with mm. are also following. And probably a few vision. more around you. And then just relatives and friends. If you have brothers and sisters, yes. they also say, I want to be like. So I hear three words. Yes. Number one, I hear a vision. Yes. 
Yes. You can't talk of leadership without talking about vision. Yes. You can't take people nowhere. Yes. Because leadership indeed is mm. taking them somewhere. Yes. A vision. Yes. Mm. Secondly, I am hearing time. Yes. But it has to be within a specified That's period of time. Yes. Somehow there are guidelines of the timing. Yes. Mm. And three, I hear the word rally. But yes. Now that you have the vision yes. for a specific period of time, mm. it's now the moment to rally people. Uh, mobilize them yes. around that vision yes. towards that direction. Exactly. Amazing. And the challenge today is people want provisions, not, not vision. vision. They want money, what? Resources. No, resources without vision become a nullity. You will waste them. But when you have a vision, yes. be sure God, will, provision give, will, be God there. will give provision. So in other words, vision precedes provision. Exactly. Focus on the vision. And then it will attract provision. Will come. Oh my. And then when you run the oh. people around you, then within a certain <laughs> period of time, you'll actually be measuring the vision. So, gentlemen, what is the vision that you have before you ask for provision? Before you seek for money, before you look for, you know, a donor, before you look for sponsors, what is your vision? What is the vision for your family? If you have no vision, you don't deserve provision. <laughs> you shouldn't receive any resource when you have you will waste no it. vision. You will waste it. Now, mm -hmm. you have been in marriage for 25 years. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, in this marriage of 25 years, mm -hmm. what if I could say maybe two to three top lessons that you have learned concerning this thing of leading family, being yes. a family leader. What if you sieved everything and boiled it down to yes. three top lessons, yes. which ones would they be? Yeah, there are actually three things a man, a husband, should be able to do. Number one, the priest of the family. Now, I'm already a priest, but I became a priest long ago. At marriage, yes. I became the priest of my family. And that's what actually the what we call the kingdom principle. That mm -hmm. a man mm -hmm. within a family is a priest. A priest meaning you are interceding for your family, yes. you are sacrificing for your family, you are taking them towards the God that you know. Mm -hmm. Secondly, another top thing is that I am a leader. Okay. Meaning, I develop a vision, share it within family meetings, mm. and for us we have family meetings with the children, yes. with my wife and we... I know a family that has what they call a family parliament. Yes. <laughs> Once every quarter. I think we need now to <laughs> encourage ourselves to become a parliament making laws. <laughs> so for, for last is the meeting yes. normally where even the youngest become a chairperson. Okay. And we have a so, so chairpersonship of the family meeting is rotational. rotational. So that you are not only you know the vision bearer but you are training others also to become vision bearers. Okay. Whether they are female or male. And so that one has been Happening. So you've learned to be a priest, which is the kingdom principle. Yes. You've also learned to be, be a leader, leader with a vision that is vision shareable and is shareable and yes. we discuss it. And, and when things we fail, we normally you know go back. Then the last one mm. is being prophetic leader. Okay. The prophetic leader means you are dreaming for the family. Mm -hmm. You are also bringing the oracles of God to your family. Mm. Every relation, every relationship with God, revelation from God, you share it and say, my people, our children, yes, others smoke, but our home is no smoking area. That's prophetic. Okay. And then declare the prophetic in the sense that there are certain things God reveals to you that shouldn't be done yes. in your family. But also, you are imparting your children okay. that wherever they go, yes. Prophetically, this okay. is not part of You're their, speaking into, into their, their tomorrow. To their tomorrow. You're speaking into their future, how yes, it should yes, look yes. like mm, by yes. speaking about it today, today into their life. Yes, and so that now prophetically you begin declaring. Okay. Instead of abusing my child, I will declare that you will be, you will be, you will be. Yes, messes, but as a prophet, now as a leader, you yes. embrace them. So, so you stop saying, do you have porridge in your head? How can you do that? And you no. now start to say, uh, when I look at you, yes. I will see you would even be a there is, Yes, you may not be performing well in math, yes. but my son, thank you yes. for this English. Yes. You will be, you will be. Let me tell you, children need to hear that. Because I, I mean, I grew up without hearing it. Yeah, me and too. And it crushed my what? My spirit. Actually, I had even a beast that second class upper. Yes. But because of being crushed, I couldn't knock and get what? 
at home. And yes. so I decreed that. Oh, you had a good grade academically, but yes. you I mean, I was a man with the, the confidence yes. and the esteem to, to step out as and, a man and get, and a, get job. a job for yourself. Those with passes got jobs. Yeah. Second row, I had the second class upper statistics those days. Yes, it oh, was amazing. But that I was in 1992. Yes, I couldn't in 1993. January. So I couldn't knock and actually say I yeah. wanted to. Oh, Why? Yes. Because I was fresh. So it, when I not prophesy into your future, when I got my family. I began prophesying. I also prophesied to my wife. Okay. Yeah. So, in other words, prophesying for for somebody who does not understand this okay. Christian language is, is speaking positively into, into, into their life. somebody's life. Okay. Despite of their weaknesses, yes. to tell them that, wow, well okay. done. And therefore, as a family, we don't measure our children yes. based on the success. Okay. Of the world, Absolutely. but on the potential, potential you see that we see. Amazing. And apparently. Each one of them has different potential. Yes. And as we shall see later, mm. God never made us as photocopies. Yes, we are Each not second hand. Has a type, a type of purpose and work. And therefore, we can't tell our children, hey, the other one is performing like this. Do yes. this. No. Yes. Each child has their own. Even Each if child if does their own hard if work. If they are twins life. and I have twins, yeah. the first bones, the truth is that they are totally different. Now, that brings us to the very topic indeed. Yeah. Our topic is that real men work hard. Yes. Already, of course, you are pointing to what it means to work hard. You know, mm. being a priest of the home, being a leader of the home, and mm. being a prophet, prophet of the yes. home. Yes. Mm. Now, some people say mm -hmm. that work is actually a curse. Mm. It came after the fall of man, yes. when Adam and Eve ate the fruit. Mm. They, there was a car, so they had to work hard in mm. order. So somebody says, why should I work hard? Mm. It's a curse. Yes, what do you say about that? Why so, should people Number work one, hard? those who say it don't read the Bible. Huh? Why? Because working begins before sin enters. Yes. Chapter 1 of Genesis, verse mm -hmm. 28. Mm. Go and multiply. Many yes. people think multiplication <laughs> is producing is children. Producing children. <laughs> no, it is harnessing nature. And when God says, I will prosper you, yes. it doesn't mean it's too great. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, Abraham wouldn't be prosper. I mean, one child, yes. Isaac, mm -hmm. Noah had three, mm -hmm. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And so somewhere now has two. We, we, <laughs> yes, yes. So, so when we say, go and multiply, harness the earth, I put you under, above the leadership of the seas. Seas is not about children. Yes. It is not about... <clears throat> I mean, we are in control of nature. So when so you say multiply, reproduce, yes, it is a production work. chain. It is work. It is work. Go yes. and reproduce within the seas, mm -hmm. within the land, within the space. Yes. But then, chapter two, mm. and it is interesting. Yes. Verse eight. Mm -hmm. God made a garden. Yes. Please, if you have the Bible, get open chapter it right two, now. Verse eight. <laughs> God made the garden yes. and he planted. Yes. So God worked. Yes. I, I'm even now. Before we even talk of man. Of, yes, I'm not even talking about man. Yes. And I'm on work. Yes. I mean, God was still working when mm. he was creating. Yes. But, chapter 2, verse 8, he plants the what? A garden. A garden. Now, verse 15, mm. he puts in a man and tells him two things. Yes. Take care of it. Tend it and cultivate. Work. Yes. Tend it, cultivate, yes. press it. Yes. Other Bible versions say mm. that. Mm. So, work. Take good care. As a tenant, as a principle from God, it began before, before the fall. That now, sounds like a, a principle of stewardship. Even exactly, before the fall. But till this land, yes. look after it, yes. don't eat on this fruit. Mm -hmm. Full stop. Okay. So the fall brought in two things mm -hmm. that work continued, but now toiling. Oh, and sweating. So there is a difference between working and toiling in a way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and I will come to it later. Because you see, when you are working within yes. the principles of God, yes. Yes, they won't be toiling and sweating. Oh. You will enjoy the work as worship. Yes. So Adam yes. was to worship God through work. Oh, Tell work me. was a form of worship. Worship, yes. Okay. And today even work, therefore, must be a form of worship. Okay. Why? Because it is ordained by God. He's the one speaking. Go, dress yes. it, tend it, cultivate. Mm -hmm. So when I'm not working, you I'm not worshiping. Okay. And you know Rick Warren writes in his book, that whatever activity you do is worship. So first, 
pause. Mm. <laughs> so this, <laughs> whenever you are not working, you are not worshipping. So if you claim to be somebody who worships God, mm. but you are not working, mm. there is a challenge. Mm. And I hope, let me hope, mm. that there is a difference between work and job. Yes, mm. totally. Because somebody here who is saying, oh, so are you saying if I don't have a job, mm -hmm. then I... Yeah, because you, you see, see the challenge here. I job think has, we have yes. a big challenge with words. And we need to redefine and that's words. that's why now the challenge today is what they call employment, yes. formal employment. Yes. But my mother was working. Okay. She never got a <laughs> job description. She was not a job. And let me tell you, she paid our fees through work. <laughs> you get it? There was production. Yes. Through work. So now, hit but it on the head. Today, why should the man work? So, so, why should the man work? One, because he's ordained by God. Yes. Two, so because mm -hmm. Paul says, and this is more interesting, mm. that without work, don't eat. Don't eat. That is Second Thessalonians chapter that's 3, three verse, yes, 6, verse exactly. 10. So, so, that's the second point. That if you don't work, then don't no eat. Then number three, mm -hmm. People who are busy bodies and poor, of course, addresses it mm. normally become a workshop of the enemy, and that's the devil. If you are not working, yes, I can assure you, you are opening your life to many bad things. Life to anything, yes. No wonder current season mm. encourages people not to work. Okay, you get it. Like a county will come and say, No, God will bless you without working, yeah. And I will come to it later. <laughs> there is no miracle, the revenue will bring the news. yes, yes, exactly. You don't have to rear the goods. and then, but they even forget that the revenue had a change. I mean, later, when you read yes. First Kings chapter 17, mm. yes, the raven fed Elijah, mm -hmm. but he would still go and pick it from the raven. Okay. In other words, work is a principle. So that there is no miracle, <laughs> and I repeat it again, there is no miracle without work. Okay. Jesus would have ordered, you know, fish and, and bread and it to just come. People's mouth. But where is there is a small boy. Okay, let him bring the fish. Two, two fish and... Okay. Three rows, distribute multiplication. Sit people down. Exactly. See, that's work. That's work. Even sitting is work. Collect the ten baskets. That's chapter six, verse ten of John. That's management that's of the miracle. Management of even work. I mean, yes. That production you can't waste. Even some people mismanage their miracles. Yes. So what we are saying now is that work is different from a job. Okay. A job has a description. It is yes. management. Yes. But yes. work, what I do. Outside this is job. very important. All the work. Oh. And and then again in chapter three, God brought two dimensions after sin that you will toil. Yes. The earth will be bad. In other yes. words, we shall produce after toiling. Yeah. In Eden it was paradise. It was. You would enjoy work. Mm -hmm. But then he also said, out of your bro, the sweat. Yes. You will be able to produce. Okay. Meaning you should still work, mm. but now because of sin. Yes. Ah, you work complaining. In the Garden of Eden, there was no complaint. <laughs> yes. Because food was there, production was there, and it was within the paradise, the will of God. So really, working in the mm. original uh, intention of God was being. Yes. Mm. Not so much of doing, but being. Being. Being, being mm. productive. Yes. In the presence of God. Yes. And God visiting you in the. If you read it properly, He visited them yes. in the cool of the day. So and work is bread. very. Critical. I had already gotten out of the garden, and that's why the word Adam, where are you? Yes. Still rings today. Yeah. You man, instead of yeah. working, yeah. tilling the instead garden, of working, of God, where, where are, you? are you? Patrick, where are you? Mm. James, where are you? Samuel, where are you? Mm. Jasper, where are you? Dixon, mm. where are you? John, where are you? The question still rings true today. That when the man is out of his place, is out of his position, where he is supposed to be productive, where he's supposed to be working and producing something, the question rings true. Where are you? You are not in your place. So work is critical for family provision, for productive living. It's God's command. To fulfill purpose and, and, and increase prosperity and gain the right to lead as a man, work is critical. Now, here is something that has been happening uh, these days, mm -hmm. very popular, in, especially in the motivational world, yes. uh, where I sometimes find myself mm -hmm. being, where people are advocating for working smart, working smart. 
Yes. Working smart. Mm. They even speak it while doing something like this yes. to show you that this is sophisticated and crispy. Yes. You know, it's yes. it's glossy. Mm. So the question is, why should I work hard if I can work smart? You know, the answer is, if you work hard, you are working smart. Why? <laughs> because <laughs> ultimately, without working hard, you are not smart. Oh In my! In other words, I'm a priest. <laughs> Mm -hmm. If I have a, a, you know, a text to preach, yes. I work hard on it, mm -hmm. and that's being smart. That's being, I mean, I read the Bible every day, <laughs> four chapters every day, so that I may be able to finish the Bible mm. in one year. Mm. I am now reading the Bible smart. Okay. Why? Because I'm reading it hard. Mm. So oh. there can't be smartness without hardness. Without hardness. <laughs> I love and therefore, if you don't work hard, you are not smart. You are not working smart. Yes. And again, I read the Bible so that I'm able to preach properly. I'm yes. able also to communicate to God. But I also, I mean, because of my past history, I also mm. used to do consultants, a mm. lot of them. Yes, management And I can consultant. assure you, I would work hard. Yes. Because I want to be smart. Okay. My product, I want whoever reads it yes. to say, wow, where yes. can I get this? And in the... Consultants, the world yeah. today, by the way, mm. they look for you because of your product. Of course, of course. And the product can't be because of smartness. It will be because it of hard work. Work hard. I mean, I would go into the sitting room. My yes. wife brings me coffee. Yes. And says, "Go on, go on." Mm. And I produce some document. Thank God for those kinds of wives. Exactly, exactly. I mean, <laughs> who bring yes. that cup of coffee? Yes. Yes. Go and right ahead. I the question, <laughs> and we shall come to it later. Anyway. Yes. But. In other words, if you want to become smart, please work hard. So in other words, mm -hmm. while working smart yes. really means being efficient at what you're doing, it takes an effective approach of exactly. working hard. Yeah. It mm -hmm. takes hard work to work smart. Exactly. By the time people look at you and say, he is working smart, you yes. have put in a lot of hard work hard in the work. background. And you are not your product. skills are beyond. Yes what we would call now ordinary. Yes. In other words, smartness is because your skills and intellect and even whatever you are doing is yes. beyond yes. the normal. Daniel, in the Daniel chapter 6, th this guy was smart. He I'm worked in the four governments. Guy. Actually, there are five if you okay. add Nebuchadnezzar to. Oh, you yes. know, he served the <laughs> two Nebuchadnezzar. Yes. And Darius and Sarius and Belshazzar, the mm. son of Nebuchadnezzar. Mm. But in chapter 6, they appoint 120 satraps. Yes. Those like are the governors. governors. Of yes. And he works smart. Then they wanted to appoint him among the three to oversee. The top ones. Yes, they to oversee the, the 120. Mm -hmm. And then, imagine hard work. Yes. But he's also smart. He's worshipping his God. Mm -hmm. oh. And oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. In other words, for him, work was worship. Yes. But I also need to encounter my God privately. Yes. And when you read chapter 6, they say the only thing we can get done wrong is his prayer life. Is good. Yes. We can't find anything wrong. Yes, about he was too he smart. has not stolen anybody's yes, money. Exactly. He has mm. not killed anyone. He didn't yes. lie mm. anywhere. Yes. He mm. didn't forge academic documents. The only thing we can is to say that he prays a lot. Mm. And then you trap him. That's how you But the end, but the end you will see. He was more successful. He was yes. more smarter. Okay. Okay. That he was smarter than them. Him. But even Jesus, it is interesting in three years, mm. if you refuse his vision, it wasn't yes. through smartness. It was through hard work. <laughs> I mean, the cross. He was walking every day. Every day. Everywhere. To the extent that the mother and the siblings came and said, uh -uh, you must sit to eat. Now, and when you look at this, yes, mm, JT, mm, when you look at this that we are talking about, yes. we have seen that the benefits are real. Yes, the benefits mm, of hard work. Yes. We have realized it is actually smart mm, to work hard. hard yes. we, we see it clearly. Mm, it's ordained. It's, mm, mm, it's a way how we rally even our families around the yes, vision. Mm, in a specified period of time. Mm. Is it that people don't know this? Is it that men are not aware of this? What stops men from working hard? A number of I men think that don't work hard. As time went on, yes. a certain culture began developing mm -hmm. where working hard never became a value. Okay. You know, it, our okay. mothers used to okay. work hard. Our grandfathers we know used to work hard and yes. grandmothers, yes. especially those in the revival movement, Mm. But as you know, 
mafuta mingi that smuggling entered yes. during the Amini regime mm -hmm. and then onwards mm -hmm. you know the rebel groups what people began feeling yes. that you can become rich without work without really working hard and then technology comes in mm -hmm. where you have forex trading yes. what, where you can think mm -hmm. you can get money on sitting on a computer yes a lot of you know you see and you trade mm. and the next day wow you are driving yes. a mercedes benz a rolls royce into the world with <laughs> even i don't know why they didn't yes. but they want us to see them but <laughs> listen to this so that the culture now that has developed yes and so our children instead of seeing us getting up to work mm -hmm. and by the way again work is defined different mm. like for us we have chicken at home yes instead of them seeing us to see that you know we are collecting eggs mm. they begin thinking that hey, but the one we saw on tv yes is uh, you know getting money without necessarily okay, to, chicken. Uh -huh. the one you know that is ever at night yes typing reports mm. and what mm. but there is a celebrity yes. promoted by tv mm. and that's why by the way you should watch family TV. Mm -hmm. There is a celebrity promoted by all newspapers and yes. family and other TVs mm. that has made it. Yes. When you check behind, they haven't been working. Okay. Either okay. they have stolen, They have only been made by, by social media. Thing. And you see, David also struggled with this in the Psalm 73. Mm. That road, the wicked, they How got for sick, they lose <laughs> power, what and what. But verse 16 is interesting, that until when I entered the sanctuary of God, yes. in other words, if we see work and prosperity from the perspective of God, yes. the other celebrity crashes. And by mm -hmm. the way, let me even ask you on TV, mm -hmm. name three celebrities who never worked, and, and you know, they are still surviving after 30 years. I will do my research. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> when you name three, I will really also now begin researching. Why? So, so in other words, many men are stopping hard work because of the culture that has exactly emerged. That, has, that, that doesn't it. see hard work as a as value. A, as a value. It doesn't it see that work ethic as important. Corruption becomes a value. You know, anybody taking money, grabbing yes. land yes. becomes a value and is now promoted. Yeah. Why? Yes. And of course, one time I was in a Ikeraja. Yeah, that I'm the only one left. But mm. no, God told me mm. the letter was seven thousand times wrong. Yeah, and I pray that many men, even who are watching, yes, you won't fall into a trap of thinking that you are the only one who is doing work, right. Money without work benefits you. No, yeah. it is not even money. The way you obtain something, yeah, is the way you lose it. Yeah, and I have tested that that the more you obtain money out of corruption for example mm. you lose it through corruption i think that tells me that some of the men are stopping to do this hard work mm. because of the televisions they watch yes the radio stations they listen the to years they go the years they have bad advice yes even too much sleep the yes. pride of the saying pride when people see me doing watching, this. watching the premiership that the other one transfer, he 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 earns one twenty thousand pounds a week. No, that's him. You go and work, and in yours. fact, don't even watch him. He's busy. I mean, like the Bruna. Yes, he's from Burundi. Mm -hmm. Of course, many people think he's from Belgium. Yes. he's an Albino from Burundi. Okay, and I read his story. Mm. After fifteen years, when he was rejected as a kid, mm. that's when he said, "I will work hard." Mm -hmm. Yes. So the football you see mm. came from a young man who yes. was inspired by a mother. Yes. That now that I have neglected you, mm. your parents, go and work hard. Yeah. Yeah. So when you see him running and you clap and you begin complaining, you earn it's one twenty yes. thousand pounds per week. Mm -hmm. Go and also work <laughs> hard. And whatever you earn, by the way, because it is of God. It will prosper. You become now, prosperity. It is yes. defined different. Definitely. Mm. Now, you talked about something at the start. You mm. referred to it. Let me bring it in here. Mm. And mm. you said something about it. Yes. Uh, you come from the world of the church as, yes. a, as mm. a priest. Yes. Mm. And in, in the church where you, you are, mm. we have people that are called intercessors. Yes. People who are often praying for others yes. as their mm. way of service. Yes. Mm. 
and the majority of them are so famous mm. for giving glorified testimonies yes. about a life of miracle after miracle after yes. miracle mm. in a way to the extent that somehow it starts to sound like well you don't have to work hard mm. miracles are there mm. so my question is what about those kinds of men who yes. actually rely on miracles as a substitute for hard work. Yes. What do you and tell them? So, three things. Number one is the definition of a miracle. Uh -huh. And it was glory. So, I can't be a channel and I begin claiming that I'm a source. All miracles and wonders that come from God, mm -hmm. we must promote God, not the miracle worker. Okay. Let me repeat it. Because yeah, there are so many clearly. people who think that pastor so and so, yes, a reverend so yes. and so, a apostle. intercessor so and so, mm. apostle, oh, mm. when you go there, you have landed. Yes. Let me tell you, miracles are a means of God's grace to promote himself. Miracles are a, a means, means of God's, God's grace to promote himself. himself. So when you hear, I went to this mountain, and he, when the pastor so and so touched me, that's not God's miracle. Because every miracle must give God the glory. Every but does that remove the one through whom he has the Yes, passed? yes. Because who are you? So, so I, who I am, are you, mortal man? I, I am who his are instrument. The, who, ma, who are you, the clay? So are you and, saying and, he must be out of the, the picture porter, totally just the because porter, God working? The porter can use any type of clay. Yes. So there is no way. Mm -hmm. Again, ladies listen and gentlemen, if you hear that I went to Pastor So and So. Yes. The God of I mean I served as a star since yes. even star and yes. miracles were happening. Mm -hmm. But I began hearing hey when I got St. Stephen star, the God of St. Stephen I began saying no. Yes. In fact, never come back here. Ah, if that's the God you, you are a tough man. If you that's are... the God you want. <laughs> so you will hear people on radio, they walk from radio to radio, from, from church to pastor church. to pastor, yes. church to church, looking for a miracle. So Again, in other words, they are looking for miracles of God instead of looking for the God, God of, of miracles. miracles. Yes. And they are man of God instead of the God of man. Yes. They are looking for the world instead of the word. Yes. And for the phone, for the throne, you should look for the throne, not yes. the phone. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. get it. Which pastor do I call? Yes. Why? Because again, any miracle outside the grace of God for the glory of God is not a miracle. It's what then? It is. Okay. Because if it has happened, I it never is, expected it. It is I feeling it nice. It is feeling nice. You know, okay. that has died again. <laughs> so, in other words, at the end it will be in vanity. But second, second, and yes. this is more important, mm. and without reducing the role of intercession and of prayer course. and also preaching, of because course. I'm also a preacher pastor, without negating their role, yes. please ensure that when you go there, that's your calling. Not because somebody is doing it, yes. then I should do it. Mm. Street preaching yes. without due respect, and I like them. Mm. Some are going because the other one is a street preacher. Isn't that what you call inspiration? He is inspired by the other one. Yeah, you should be inspired by God, not the another person. God can you work through somebody the biggest else, sin, The biggest sin is the sin of being like. Okay. Okay? Like someone else. The serpent, if you eat on the fruit, you will you be, be like, like God. Like. The children of Israel want, like, to be we like want a king to be like <laughs> other nations. Samson, a man. If you yes. tie me, I will be like any yes. other man, the, the devil himself. Yes. I will ascend and become like the most high. So the sin of like. So, like, so ambition, like. very good. Mm -hmm. But I can't have an ambition of preaching like John Hick. I like it. So the My ambition is okay, but yes. the motivation, the motivation may is be wrong. wrong. In other words, and God weighs the motive. Yes. Proverbs 16, 1 and 2. Yes. That you plan, but God weighs. The motives. motives. Meaning, intercession is okay, prayer is okay, preaching is okay, but is it your calling? Okay. And when you find you are struggling even to get transport home, <laughs> well, then, then you know it's time for hard work. Go like Amos hard work. And you say, ah, ah, this preaching, this prophet is <laughs> yes. bad. Then you go back to do what? My shepherding. <laughs> Amos was a shepherd. Yes. And you'll find that many prophets at the same time priests mm. in other words they do work so if i'm hearing you right yes that 
gentleman, this family man who is watching, yes, mm. who has been basically relying on the life of miracle, sitting back to wait for a miracle to happen, mm, mm. should now know that it's time for him to step out and do hard work. Well, and know that a miracle will come when God wills it in, in his land and, and to glorify him. And that's my last point. Yes. That all miracles Jesus did, mm. he did what man can't do. Okay. For example, he told Peter, go and fish and get taxes. Mm. So the fish became an ATM. Yes. Because Peter went to fish it. Mm -hmm. And Jesus had the capacity to order. To call it. Yes, to call the fish. Yes. But Peter had it one fish. John chapter 2, the miracle of wine. Mm. You know, Jesus says, fill the ceremonial jars. Yes. Fill them In up the to the brim. Mm -hmm. I, I wondered why he wouldn't order water to enter. Yes. He could order water. We must participate in our miracle. Exactly. And that is the that work. There is no miracle yes. without participation of man. There is no miracle without participation of man. You must participate in your miracle. And yes. that is what hard work is about. Exactly. That you are participating mm. in the formulation of your divine miracle. Yes. Yes. In, and, and you know, even in John chapter 11, this Lazarus yes. man, Jesus says, where is the tomb? They say, ah, ah, he's already smelling mm -hmm. God. But he never knew he's even God. He told them to remove the stone. He, he wept with them. Yes. Go and remove the stone. He never removed it. So they had to participate in the 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 stone. By the stone. Then the stone. he did what they can't do, calling him outside the tomb. Yes. He came in what? The process. What did he say? I'm dying. That's not, not my work. It is not that my one work. you can do it. You can do it. In other words, so, what a man can do for himself, God he should do it. Not participate in doing it. He should think God will not do for you what he said that you would be the one to do. Yes. That's why in Deuteronomy, he says, I will bless the work of your hands. He didn't say, I will bless your hands. Mm. <laughs> oh, he said, I will ready. bless the work. So you place your, your, your hands on work mm. and then the miracle will happen. It will happen. And you see, even in these, these miracles in the Old Testament, yes. David had stones yes. and the sling. You get it. And he had it to do this. He had to swing the stone in, in order to cry for then, then you see Elijah going to the, <laughs> the old woman. Oh, it man. was, how much do you have there? So the miracle was out of heart she had. Yes. In fact, in even second, Moses, uh, yes. he, 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 God asked him, what do you have in your hand? In your hand. Yes. In other words, God is going to bless you yes. using what you have. What he already has and given. what you are already doing. So he gave us a brain to think. Mm -hmm. He gave us hands to work. Mm -hmm. He gave us legs to walk. Yes. And by the way, yes. even if you have no legs, mm. you have something else. Exactly. I mean, I saw this man without hands swimming. Oh, yeah, Nick Vujicic from Australia. Exactly. And me with the hands, I can't this, swim. Do you swim? You can't swim? I don't. Now, mm. after here, let's talk. Yes, I think I need to learn. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that he has fulfilled his potential, yes. not because of the inability, yes. because of what he thinks mm -hmm. God can use him to do. And okay. so it becomes an inspiration. Oh, yes. So even inspirational leaders, mm. for me it is, are you inspiring me out mm -hmm. of what you are doing, mm -hmm. or you are inspiring me out of words? Mm. Even when I'm reading a book, that's what I'm reading. I'm, yes. I'm looking for Where those, is the practical yes, I'm, this? I'm looking for those failures. Some will pass through yes. to become what he became. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for those moments yes. when he faltered and said, yes. hey. and when that's he a better so lesson than ah, do this. Taking it look glossy. Yeah, ten commandments of prosperity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to receive a miracle, get a visa. Where are you going? <laughs> get this. Let me tell you again. And of course, with all you, because I know there is a grace of God which is clear. Of course. But God again will not mm -hmm. not give you a degree mm -hmm. in economics, mm -hmm. like one of my cousins. Yes. And then you go and sell fruits on the street because a pastor has told you. Now, my brother JT, there are those men who are watching mm -hmm. and they do not have jobs right yes. now. Mm -hmm. They are unemployed. Yes. So a man like that is wondering, mm. how, how, how do I work hard yet mm. I have no job? Because mm. working hard is being equated or related with the job. Yes. And so he is seated at home mm. in a country where unemployment is rooftop. Yes. 
he is struggling to look for a job and he can't find it. Mm. And then you are telling him to work hard, mm. yet for him he thinks working hard is when he already has the job and yes. he's doing it well. Yes. What's your brief message to that man? That person I would advise should now rethink on what working is. Mm -hmm. Because again, we mentioned our mothers working, we yes. mentioned the people today working, mm -hmm. using things God has given. Now a job. Yes. And with all due respect to former employment, mm -hmm. and actually that's now the culture mm -hmm. that if I don't have former employment, I don't have a job. Then I don't have a job, so I can't work. Yes. But what did COVID do, do to us? All our contracts were suspended, mm -hmm. and the people who survive yes. with the money are those who chose to go for informal employment, and mm -hmm. therefore, in terms of God is kingdom, mm -hmm. informal employment is employment. <coughs> Mm -hmm. So, let me repeat it. In terms of all these economics, mm. informal employment is employment. Otherwise, I would never have become a clutcher. In fact, informal employment is a deployment. Is a deployment. Mm. Yeah. He's just using you mm. differently. Yes. And so those teachers who said there is no school, let me go and make bricks. Uh -huh. I blessed them. And yes. let me tell you, they are better than those who are a replica of lamentations. Who stayed at home singing the book of home. lamentations. These things are bad. Yes. Fuel prices are high. Yes. They are high. Yes. And by the way, we won't change this. Mm. I can predict for about 18 months. Okay. Like, can I repeat again? This economy is going to be tough for about 18 months. Interesting. So survivors are those who will go into the informal sector. Yes. And begin production. Begin okay. production. So that they are able to survive that crash. Why? Yes. Because you see, it isn't that this is expensive. It is how much you have to purchase it. Exactly. It Nothing is expensive. It's exactly. you who can't afford it. Exactly. It yeah, is affordable. I believe that. For some people, <laughs> a helicopter is a small gift. Absolutely. For some people. Yeah. A, a yeah, yacht, big boat. For some of money. us, a bicycle. Yes, might be the biggest. It's a mountain. It can even now <laughs> you can even worship that. So the difference is capacity. Is capacity? So what I'm hearing you say, my mm. brother Jetty, is that someone who is not employed yes. formally, who does not have a job, yes. should not sit back at home and just watch TV and sleep lament. the whole day and, yes. lament, and but should find what he can be putting in his hands on that yes. can yes. give him yes. some and That's up. what I told the young man recently mm. because was becoming a problem. Mm. He had been told by a pastor, first of all, change your name. Okay. That your name has Mr. Rani. Okay. And he changed. Of course, so I, your name has bad luck. Yes, and he changed. But the pastor has the same name he was born no, with. So I told him, <laughs> guy, the pastor never changed, but you, you are around and changed. Yeah. And went for gazetting, very expensive. Okay. But then secondly, had he believed that he will get vehicles and what, because God is good. Mm. Then I told him, as a graduate, yes. let me tell you, young man, he was even dreaming to give me a V8. So I told him, dream of how to get a job okay. and go and work. <laughs> Why? Again, from Genesis to Revelation, mm. and thank God I have read the Bible. Yes. There is nowhere where God blesses people mm. without participating okay. in their blessing. Mm. They must you know not Because that's it is like an order, it is like gravity. If you jump high, it doesn't matter whether you are speaking in tongues or not, you come down. Yes. You get it. I hope that doesn't mean mm. that they earn God's blessing, but that they only participate they in the participate environment that in the environment God has put them in. Okay. So that when they earn, mm -hmm. they bless the God of Israel. Exactly. Who has helped them yes. to earn. He gave Bezalel. And, uh, and uh, yeah, <laughs> skills. Exodus 18. 18, Exodus 18, and the numbers 35. Yes. No, even Exodus 35. Mm. Those were skilled people to build. Yes. Now, if he said, Oh, God, thank you for giving me a brain for building, now and he me sleeps at home, money won't drop into his So, mouth. now, what do you say? What do you tell a man who despises the available jobs? Because there are many men right now. They, he has a family, he has a wife, he has children, he has other people who depend on him, but then somehow, I don't know whether it's this pride of how will they see me doing this kind of a thing, this kind mm. of a job. So he despises jobs that present themselves. Mm. You know, one what of the say? biggest lessons I got from St. Stephen Stutter mm. is that God made these people who are not educated mm. to be very rich. 
and very rich I mean billionaires. Yes. And one of the principles that I saw from them is they don't despise any kind of work. Yes. Many of them began began as shop attendants. Mm -hmm. Now they are the ones who are They are more owners. Barbara. And when I go to pray for them, let me tell you, I bless the Lord. And pray for their children <laughs> to get that work ethic. So, again, if you are listening to us, mm -hmm. and when you listen, know this, that God wants you to work. And through the works of your hand, the knowledge has given you the skills. Mm -hmm. Then God will bless you mm -hmm. so that you bless others. By the way, again, mm -hmm. prosperity is not so that we feel nice. Yes. It is to help. Okay. Propagate the we kingdom are to of prosper God. so that we impact others. others. We become significant and helpful exactly. to others. Exactly. So that it becomes the kingdom. Yes. That, you know, Jasper became prosperous so that others yes. may be prosperous mm -hmm. and that the kingdom of principle yes. so holding money that's a sin i mean if you don't <laughs> want to think about it whether you work this church commissioners mm. get wealth to propagate the mm. great commission yes not to in build order. many houses mm. and, or can feel nice no yeah. that's so not the purpose of the church so the purpose of the wealth and work is so that you glorify god through propagating his kingdom. All right. Yes. So in other words, a man who has been despising the available jobs should Please go to and borrow. do the jobs. You Whether you earn 1,000 from it, go, go and, and do, do that it. work. And let me add this. Yes. Joseph yes. never despised himself as a house boy. Okay. I mean, he worked in so hard home. that God, God blessed him as a house boy. Exactly. In a prison. Yes. If he was an average Ugandan, yes. lamentation would yes. be. You know, I'm from to what they so put him to young. For him, he entered and he began to work. And the prisoner, the Bible says, yes. put him in charge. Exactly. And you see those are training grounds. Exactly. That God is training you so yeah. that when you now reach the palace, yes. you know that work hard is anything. So the small job you are despising is the stepping stone so to where you are now. Be. Yes. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10 says, whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. It doesn't say, whenever you find a mighty thing to do. No. No, no, no. It says, whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. Jasper, whenever you find the, ghost, the, 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 the preaching opportunity, yes. preach as if you are dying that day. Yeah, and it preaching my people who are dying that exactly. day. Exactly. And I got it in Karebwe. I got <laughs> St. Sifu in Karebwe, St. Nicholas Karebwe. Then I go to preach on a Sunday, I find like three people. Yes. Average. Mm. I say, go out there. These ones I don't need yes. to have prepared at all. Yes. The Spirit rebuked me that day. Okay. Preach to these as if that's your last sermon. And yes. from that day, that's what I do. So even if what you are going to be working on is not the thing that you want, mm. it could be the thing that will lead to the thing. Yes. Mm. Now, let me ask. I see we just have about uh, about five minutes to the end of this program. I yes. wish we had even much more. Mm. Uh, are there some forms of hard work that are foolish, useless, and in vain? Be because I don't, I don't know. Is all hard work good? Or are there forms of hard work that you yes. say this is working in vain? Yeah, two things. Mm -hmm. Work in vain means you are not working in accordance with God's principles. So, so when you work outside God's principles of principles, work, yeah. Like if you work hard to steal. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it will end in vain. And if I had time, I would bring you give you an example that Daniel, we know Daniel more than Nebuchadnezzar, mm -hmm. and he was the strongest man. Yet Nebuchadnezzar was the king. Yes. I know Esther more than Zexas. Okay. Zexas Esther. was the husband. Yeah, Ahasuerus. But Esther, you know. And you see, he, ha he was in charge of 126 provinces. Yeah. And he made a party for 180 days. Now, you make one party wow. for a day, you are already finished. But for him, 180 days. One for everybody. Days. And they would eat whatever they want, drink whatever they wanted in his provinces. 180 days. But I know Esther. Yet more. we don't know him. We don't yes, remember we don't him. Know him. We remember I know Chivenjali more than Amin. Bishop Festo Chivenjali. Yes. More I know Lugum, Jana and Lugum, whose yes. house we are in. Yes. More than Amin. Mm -hmm. Why? Because for them, their work yes. was the, within the, the principles, principles of, God. of God. Yes. So Amin, abuse of human rights, whatever, was yes. outside. And he did that. 
I know Ben Hufa more than him. Okay. I mean, I have read about Ben Hufa yes. more than Hitler. Yeah. Why? Because he was outside. So what? All not not all work hard mm. will lead to good results. To good results. Yes. Secondly, there are certain types, certain types of work working hard that are not enjoyable by the one working. <laughs> in other words, <laughs> and if you see this one, I bought it when I was working. I worked in railways. I worked in Nigeria. I would reach office early, leave late. Yes. And one of my bosses, I remember, told me that why are you working? This and way, yes. Because I have more money than you. <laughs> I earn more than you. <laughs> then I remember I said, and I quote, I'm doing this unto God. Yes. Colossians chapter 3, mm, verse 17 to 22. Mm. That our work is unto God. So if you are working yes. unto self, mm -hmm. unto your relatives, mm -hmm. even unto your family, yes. however nice it is, yes. let me tell you, it is vanity. So yes, yes work hard, but ensure that. It is working to propagate within the, mm, the kingdom of God within the principles yes. of God. That said, are there hard working men, mm. genuinely hard working men, mm. who are focusing on what you've talked about, looking at propagating the kingdom agenda, mm -hmm. but who need to be reminded mm. to start to work a little less? Yes, mm -hmm. workaholics. <laughs> I mean, because sometimes we can work and forget that we have a family. Yes. I know one professor who forgot his vehicle around Kambara Road. <laughs> he forgot that he had come with a vehicle. <laughs> he, then, you know, Payara Square Date. You get it. <laughs> All that is nice. Yes. But again, God gave us 24 hours. Mm. And it is interesting when you see the creation story. Yeah. He would create and then day and night. night. And then he rested. Yes. Meaning, work, yes, mm. but find time to rest. Find and by the rest. way, I'm also a project in the making. I mean, me too. Sometimes me too. it is difficult to yes. say. I had one time set a Wednesday, mm. switch off phones, be happy. Yes. But sometimes uh, things don't happen the way I want. But most times, actually, when I find you, it's only Wednesday on phone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. Uh. <laughs> so, so in other words. Please ensure that you rest. Yes. Ensure that you take care of the family. Because take that's also family. work. Yes. Ensure that you go to worship. Take care of your health. Yes. Take care of your health. Like Harvest slowly. Like my walk. <laughs> then ensure that you go to worship. Yes. That's part yes. of work. Even the deliberate rest is yes, part of work. It's part of work. So we should work hard at doing nothing also. Exactly. And we feel okay. And we are not happy. If nothing is equivalent to resting, I mean, please <laughs> do rest. Yes. Go to church. Sabbath mm. was a time to encounter God. Mm. And so you have that Sabbath. As we come to the close of this, mm. a hard-working family man mm. starts as a hard-working boy. Mm. In just one minute, how can a man raise a hard-working son who will later grow into a hard-working family man, a great husband of a certain woman? For me, I think two things. Mm. Number one, please mm. work. Oh, For you model hard work. It's model hard work. Yes, I I may be guilty, but my children know that daddy works. Mm -hmm. That if I go for a consultant, or even go, when I go for for office, I do work. Mm -hmm. Secondly, continue inspiring them. Okay, showing them good examples of people who mm -hmm. worked mm -hmm. and became well. Yes. So that this idea of I want to become a millionaire, mm -hmm. we have one of the, our children at around the 16, 17 is good in the computer. Yes. There was a temptation mm -hmm. to go for eight thousand mm dollars -hmm. outside the country. Okay. And you see we said no. Mm -hmm. Why? Because ours is not the amount of dollars. Mm -hmm. Ours is the amount of person that God has created <laughs> in his image, full stop. Yes. So it, so that is to continue inspiring them that you can't well, even when you are in Uganda, yes. wherever God places you. And then finally, mm -hmm. because there is this issue of, you know, jobs outside Uganda, yes. mm -hmm. our husbands and wives they going, are going to the Middle East, they are killing the very tenet of family. Mm -hmm. Togetherness. So one when you would come to me to Chitara and you say, I'm going to... Iraq, one man, he said, please pray and I go, I yes. get five million, mm. I prayed, God don't give him. And he was angry. Wasn't that a bad prayer? Remember? Yes, I said, God, yes. bless him from around. Okay. And after six months, it was of course tough, yes. during the six months, yes. changed the church, 
But after six months, he comes to office and says, With a testimony. Reverend, God has given me a job here. Yes, yes. I can also provide for my family. So it's not about location. It is not about location. It's about relationship with, with the one who God will you. And let me tell you, his network is everywhere. He's everywhere. Yes. And in all these him. things, mm. what is the place of ethics and integrity in hard work? Actually, hard work, work ethic is that integrity and honesty. Yes. It is like a combination. Because I see people who are really very hard working, but in their hard working, they are stepping the else, uh -huh. they are working hard to they, steal, they are working yes. hard to, to kill us. Those ones, and by the way, the biggest resource mm. on earth, according mm. to God, mm. are humans. Mm. Yeah, so if you have a relationship with the people, mm -hmm. it's not good. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how hard you work. Yes. If your relationship with God is not good, mm. forget. The throne of God is established on righteousness, righteousness and, and justice. justice. Yes. Right standing with the God and doing right, the right standing with, with the man. So if you can't do that, yes. Even if you work, okay, we shall bury you under mm -hmm. and the works of your hands mm -hmm. will be vanity. Mm -hmm. So may you relate together with your family, wow. very well with the people and relate with God. My last question. Or the time yes. is gone. My last yes. question for you. Mm -hmm. Which message do you have for the wives? of hard-working men? <laughs> two things. Number one, support. You know, Genesis chapter 2 verse 18, I will make a suitable word. Helper. Helper. It is complimentary. Mm. Support. The working, the, the work, working hard mm -hmm. without supporting, stealing. I know I have counseled many men who say my wife is putting me on pressure. Yes. But just the second day, also work okay and you know the exact chapter for verse 9 mm. says two are better than one yes when they work together they have better, better returns. results work and then ensure that your basket is one okay because i know they are chikazi very chikazi <laughs> money <laughs> and then it changed the money no put in one that one basket have one account if it is possible purchase property in your two names mm. because again and i want to finish with this mm. If you read Matthew 18, 18 21, that if two agree on anything, it the biggest done. disaster of family today is that we don't agree. There are so many women opposing their husbands, mm -hmm. there are so many husbands opposing, opposing their wives, and therefore yes. their families are horror. It yes. is vanity. Yes. Yeah. Wow. I want to thank you, my brother JT, for sharing out of the wealth of your wisdom. Amen. Amen. This has been phenomenal. Amen. And one thing I know is that you not only talk about this virtue and value of hard work, yes. but you have exemplified it yes. for many years yes. as a family man, yes. as a husband, yes. as a father, yes. as an executive director of a number of entities, yes. Yes. as a, a church relations, uh, relations mm -hmm. manager yeah. of uh, yeah. the yeah. top yeah. Christian university in Uganda. Yes. Now, as the general CEO yes. of the of the investment arm of Church of Uganda, mm. you have exemplified mm. hard work. Mm. This afternoon, I put out a poster mm. saying we are going to be having a program and uh, the topic is real men work hard. Mm. And somebody came to my inbox mm. and talked about something concerning you that I want to end with here. Mm. And this was your own brother, your young brother. Who happens to have gone through some of our trainings at Inspired Leaders International? Yes. Mm -hmm. Grant Mpiriwe, Mr. Yes. Grant Mpiriwe. Yes. He came to my inbox and this is what he said. Let me read it exactly as he said it. Mm -hmm. Jasper is my big brother. Same dad, same mom. Mm -hmm. He is the one who even paid fees for all of us. Without him, the whole family would be nothing. Thank you for exemplifying the value of hard work. That you worked so hard to even pay school fees for your siblings. Yes. You worked hard to ensure that you become a significant part of your family. That today they can look back and say, without Jasper, our family would be nothing. I'm, 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 I'm. Let me tell you, gentlemen who are watching, family leadership is hard work. Do your best. Family leadership is hard work. So do your best. Real men work hard. Until next time, Samuel Eberkutano, your host. This has been the Inspire.
inspired family leader program. God bless you all. Yeah. Live love and lead.